Good morning, folks. We've got two space weather items to cover today. Cosmic magnetic fields, pre-megaquake electromagnetic signals, solar forcing, and the Big Burp. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun much more quiet than the day before. We do see bright spots in an equatorial coronal hole, but let's go ahead and jump back to yesterday. M-class solar flare and CME off the northern central longitudes. We had forecast an impact to Earth Monday night or Tuesday, and it appears the latter portion of that window is where NASA and NOAA are coming down. Right after the news yesterday, the Enlil spirals began updating, and both now show direct Earth impact late on the 1st or even early into February 2nd. That would be tomorrow night. And it should be a mid-level impact. Not terribly strong, not terribly weak either. NOAA's Enlil spiral here showing the same timing and relative character of the CME. Dense, but slow. We will be watching for that impact tomorrow night. We also need to check out the sunspot situation. The massive group up north has begun spreading and in fact has come to find a healthy spread after the flare. With its magnitude, it may be hard to focus elsewhere, but at the incoming limb, we do have more spots both north and south. So that makes the CME coming tomorrow night, coronal hole facing Earth tomorrow, and more sunspots on the way. Let's head out to the galactic plane and find the magnetic fields of a filament mostly wrapped around it. This brings back the Musk of filament story and how its fields were wrapped around it as well. And the way you get magnetic fields wrapping around something thin and stringy is to have an electric current running through it like a wire. Nice to see them bringing back this type of study with the electromagnetic focus and farther reaching implications. Piggybacking on yesterday's pre-electroquake signals, this was for the mega quake that hit Alaska last year. Of all the fields of science we've touched over the last 10 or 11 years, this one we do the least progress and most reporting now because the field itself has taken off in the right direction, has all the funding it needs, and is pulling studies like this by the week. Lastly, on the article front, this one plays into the four-part climate miniseries from the end of last year, and everything else we know about forcing of the global electric circuit, the top-down forcing from the thermosphere, and the instantaneous forcing signals noticed throughout the Earth system upon space weather impact. Here, yet another neglected aspect of the electrodynamics in the upper reach gets a moment in the journals. Direct forcing on the thermosphere and ionosphere, and therefore everything they touch from the up and down electric circuit, to the equator were traveling waves just like they found on Jupiter. Anyone getting excited for the 2022 supplement to our textbook? I am. Folks, episode 5 of The Big Burp came out last night. We're answering questions, doing some wiring, and I decided we wanted to make you laugh in the first three minutes, so... Rocky and I went that route. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.